Walt County School District is also asking for feedback from parents on when they think schools should reopen. The school district came out with a new survey for parents. Take parents, students, and employees are being asked to fill out the survey about restarting school. Parents say there were a lot of questions about social distancing and if students should wear masks. Clay County says they are considering face masks too. St. John's County says they haven't discussed it yet. For CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax, I'm Alicia Tarancon for 104.5 WOKV. Thank you, Alicia. Our top national story, Connecticut opening today is now all 50 states have at least partially reopened. We've hit those metrics. We're exceeding those metrics. I think we can proceed on a very thoughtful basis with those are businesses that are least likely to be dangerous, most likely to have a real economic value for the state. That was Governor Ned Lamont joining Connecticut in some phase of reopening today. Delaware, Kentucky, New Jersey. And New York. And as Fox's Todd Pyro reporting, China meanwhile locking down again due to fears of a second wave of the coronavirus. Concerning news out of China, where more than 100 million people face new lockdowns amid fears of a second wave of COVID-19. These restrictions are taking part in taking place in the northeast part of China that has seen a spike in new cases of coronavirus after reopening weeks ago. And as Fox's Trey Yinks reporting, Florida GOP Senator Marco Rubio among a number of Republicans pushing for Planned Parenthood to reach turned some $80 million in loans and received due to Paycheck Protection Program. Rubio going on to say the SBA should open an investigation into how these loans were made in clear violation of the applicable affiliation rules. And his Fox is Marianne Rafferty reporting. WLKV News Time now 931. Coming up, a peek at the roads for those out driving this morning. A dive into your local forecast as we inch closer to Memorial Day weekend and more of the Brian Kilmeade Show live from New York coming up next. Staying home doesn't mean staying out of the conversation, because if there was a time to keep talking, to keep the public informed and safe, it's now. This is 104.5 WOKV, Jacksonville's news and talk. When you owe the IRS and can't pay, call J. David Tax Law, a firm right here in Jacksonville for affordable IRS tax representation. J. David Tax Law can stop any IRS collection action and protect you from financial devastation. Call J. David Tax Law for a no-cost consultation at 507-4777. That's 904-507-4777. Or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. Peace of mind is only a click or phone call away. Nimnik Buick GMC is having a markdown madness sale. All inventory is priced to move. We are also offering 0% APR for 84 months, available on all new 2019 models and select new 2020 models. Don't want to come out and visit? Shop us and our over 200 pre-owned vehicles online at NimnikBuickGMC.com and we will deliver your vehicle to you at home. Shop online at NimnikBuickGMC.com or NimnikBuickGMC on Phillips Highway. Nimnik Buick GMC, the new name in Buick. GMC, we are professional grade. Some days you just don't have a lot of time but still want to know what's going on. Get up to speed, quick, with the three big things you need to know every 15 minutes. Brought to you by Safe Touch Security. This is where Jacksonville turns first for breaking news. 104.5 WOKV. Are your glasses no longer helping? Is glare preventing you from driving at night? If so, you may be developing cataracts and Atlantic Eye Institute can help. Cataracts are a normal part of aging and an exciting opportunity to tailor your vision to 